Today, I've got for you a killer 30 minute body weight workout. We're gonna work hard, get a lot of sweat, cause that happened to me. If this is your first time with us, I'm Corey Boggs, personal trainer here at Benefit Fitness. Here at Benefit Fitness, we wanna help you on your fitness journey, whatever that may be. We're all in different places. So we wanna provide some exercise videos, workouts like this one, some tips, exercise tips, learn so you can learn proper form. Also, some nutritional videos. So check those out after this workout, but get mentally ready, let's go work out. one I'm gonna do without one so it's up to you but let's get warmed up let's just start with just some nice little tap, toe taps just shaking out your body getting your blood flowing hop it out for 10 more seconds and we'll do some windmills in five four three two and one wide legs arms out send your hips back touch your toe look up at that hand go at your own pace Really stretching through that hamstring, stretching through your adductors, rotating through your spine. Good, we're gonna go for about 10 more seconds. Look up at that hand intentionally. And three, two, one, reverse lunges. Lunge back with that right leg, send your right knee down, right arm up in the sky, side bend left, feet together, lunge back with that left leg. Right arm down, side bend right. Good, keep going, go at your own pace. Again, we're just gonna do this for a time. Just moving through your body, big stretch. 10 more seconds. Good, good. We're just gonna do some inchworms next. Inchworms to Cobra, so hinge over. Walk into plank position, send your hips down, shine your chest up. Walk back in. Send those heels into the ground. Walk back out, hips down, chest up. Walk back in, one more. We'll stay in our plank position and just step wide. Plank position, step right foot outside, right hand. Straighten that back leg as best you can. Plank position, left foot outside, left hand. Keep that back leg straight, like the back side of your knee is reaching for the ceiling. Plank position, we'll go one more right and left, then we'll get started. Plank position and left. Plank position, send your hips high, downward dog, walk it in and roll it up. All right, thanks for joining. We're gonna do two exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, four times. First exercise is we're gonna just get our feet going. We're gonna do fast feet. Your feet are gonna be hip width distance apart. You're gonna sit low. You're gonna run those feet as fast as you can, however you move those arms. First exercise, then we're gonna go right into pop squat. So feet are now still wide. We're gonna squat, feet together, back to your squat. So pop squats. Burn out those legs, first round, four minutes. Let's do this. In five, fast feet. So we're not just up standing. We're gonna get down and we're gonna move those feet. Low, move those feet. You feel those legs move, your butt jiggling. Sometimes people like to swing those arms with it. Doesn't really matter, but we're gonna burn out. Those quads are gonna start feeling it. The first set is always the hardest. At least it is for me. Come on, two, one, rest it. Okay, so pop squats, so you squat. When your legs are out, you jump, everything together like a pencil. Ready? And go, squat, pop it out. Down and up, sit into those heels. You can go faster. When you come to center, if you go really quick tap, tap out, in and out, real fast. Five seconds. Come on, you guys, two, one. All right, fast feet. We're getting it done that first round. First four, heart's gonna get up there, ready? Burn out those quads, tap those feet. Shake it, shake it, try not to be standing. Sit as best you can, hinging your hips slightly back. I mean, I guess if you can go really low, that's fine, but it's a little bit harder. It's harder to move the feet fast too, but I don't want you standing upright. All right, whew. That's gonna be awesome when we get to our 45 second round. Pop squats. Feet hip width distance is your squat. When you come together, go quick out in, or in out, that's what I meant. Quick, quick, sit. 
sit into those heels, spread the floor when you stand, even though your feet are coming together. We don't want those feet to cut, knees to come in when we jump like so. Sit, keep it going. All right, halfway, two more. Fast feet, get ready, get set, and go. Come on, we've got it. Faster, come on, you can do this. Smashing all those little ants running around our toes. Fast feet, fire feet, whatever you want to call it. Keep going, keep going. I guess they call it fire feet because if you're running on fire, if you go that fast, it won't burn your toes. Get ready. Pop squats, squat it, everything together, quick, quick. Come on, you can do it. Work hard. It's only a 30 minute workout. You can do it. We're working together side by side, all squatting, popping. Yes. All right, fast feet. Get ready. One more round. Remember, breathe in through the nose. Fill that diaphragm. Oops, not jumping, fasting. Fast feet. Come on, last one, last one. Then we can say goodbye to this exercise for 12 more minutes or so. Come on, come on, you can go five. Four, faster, three, two, one, rest. All right, last pop squats, then we're moving on. Whew. Two, one, squat, in and out, in and out. Sit into your heels, sit down. Fast feet come in and out. Don't just jump and squat, jump. Come on, get it done. You're here for a reason to work hard. So whatever your best is, keep pushing for it. All right, rest. Next two exercises, stop my timer. We're gonna sit down on our butt. So we'll be more closer to the ground for the next two. So you, I'm gonna not have my feet on or something. We're gonna do sit ups. Sit up when we're at an angle. We're gonna cross reach for eight. Then you're gonna lean back down, up, cross reach. Some people prefer to do their toes under something which you can, but if you can't, if you don't have to, and you don't have to, it's totally fine. Exercise two, we're just gonna do wide climbers. Plank position, legs on the outside. Notice how I'm outside. We're just gonna quick, quick, quick. So here, this side of you, outside, quick. Okay, next two exercises. Let's go. Down on your bum. So you're gonna sit up and you're gonna do eight cross reaches. I'll come this way so you can see. Two, one, toes up, sit up. Cross reach, so really twist. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Get down, right back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. When you're up, make sure your chest is lifted, your ribs are down, so we're not here and like punching. Still, it should be hard when you're here. All right, plank position. So go quick, we're kind of hopping into the outside climber, so your toe doesn't tap. Your knee reaches for the outside of your elbow. Push it, make sure your shoulders are always over your wrists. If you need to slow it down, you can keep one foot planted, crunch, keep one foot planted, crunch, or you kind of like seesaw it. So I'm switching as my foot is going back. Okay, on your bum. So if you don't have your toes underneath anything, think about squeezing your inner thighs together tucking those ribs down, up, really cross it for eight, six, seven, eight, down, I'll count it if it's helpful, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down and up, one, two, twist, four, five, six, seven, eight, down and up, Woo. okay, cross climb, I mean, sorry, wide mountain climbers, I don't know why I keep saying cross today, okay, so switch those feet if you can, or keep one planted as you crunch it. Outside, think about your oblique still working. Get it, get it. Try to tap the outside of that tricep, right above your elbow. Come on, you can do it. Whew. This is a good one. Let's 
go sit down. I'll call it out again. You can stick with us. Go faster or slower if you need. Or it's just helpful not to count. So up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try not to let those knees twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. When you do those, make sure as you're twisting, your knees aren't twisting with you. The, that, those need to be stable, just a cue for you. Okay, plank it and climb it. Come on, push, push. We're doing it together. Go at a pace that you feel you can maintain for that 20 seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh man. Sit down, sit down. We have one more after this. Come on, sit down, sit up and cross. Ready? And up, cross. Four, five, six, sorry, eight. And then count it out. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze those knees together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. Ooh. If your middle's not feeling it yet, you got rock solid abs. All right, go. Come on, crunch them wide. Remember, this is wide. This isn't straight underneath your chest. To the outside of those elbows as you can. Come on, go, go. Almost there. Oh man, grab water if you need. We're moving on. We're gonna be standing for the next set. Hold. That felt that more than I thought it would. Okay, first one is we're gonna start with our right leg for both exercises. We're gonna keep our right leg forward. Back leg stays on the ground. We're gonna hop that right leg up, tap it with our left hand. Second exercise, we're gonna take that right leg forward, I mean sideways, lateral lunge. Take that knee to our left elbow. Okay, so I'll talk it through. And then the next time we'll go left and left. So each side is only done twice. Okay, let's put our right foot forward. We're in a lunge position. Right foot is forward, that back leg stays on the ground. We're gonna drive that right one, tap it with your left hand. Up, up, sit low. Power through this front leg. We're tapping our hand, push. So we get that foot high off the ground, push. Five more seconds, sit into this right heel. You use your core too to slightly bring that up. Okay, we're gonna take our right leg, go sideways. So we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna touch our elbow to our knee. Okay, ready? Good, lateral lunge. Bring that elbow to your knee. Crunch, sit into that right side. So bring that knee up. Don't just bring this elbow down. Knee up, sit, power. So you hear, you have to use power to get all the way up. Okay, other side. So now your left foot is forward. So you're going to bring your left knee to your right hand. So get into your lunge position. We're powering up. Back leg stays on the ground. Power it up. Try to sit into your left heel. Sorry. If you end up just doing your toes, you might feel too much pressure in the front of your knee. So think about more on the heel slash full contact of your foot when you press off. When you land, you kind of do land toe to heel, but don't just push off your toe. Okay, go to the left. So left leg, right elbow. So we're powering up so we get all the way up. So I'm not just coming here and then bringing my knee up. I'm using power up. Balance it if you can. This is hard to maintain your full body control. Crunch, down and up. Twist, get that knee up to your elbow. All right, so you know the drill. We've done each exercise once, we each leg once, we're doing each leg one more time. Total four times, right leg forward. Okay, down and up, tap, tap. Think about using your core as you bring that knee up. Bring that knee up. Remember, control your landing. Don't just slam down. Land like a butterfly. 
as best as you can as I kind of plop down on that one. All right, go to your right. Ready, set, right leg, push all the way up. One fluid motion, down, all the way up. As best you can, you have to use strength in this right side to get that high, and down, up, down. Drive it up, drive it up. And I'm not just twisting my body, so I'm not here going into a twist, I'm really just driving up. Okay, uh, left side, final one on each. We'll have a lot of time, to, a little more time to practice that when we do the 45 second round. Tap it with your right hand, or you can use both if you really want. Not really that much of a difference. Corey, be quieter, I have to tell myself. Be quieter in that landing. All right, final one to the left, moving on. Going back to the ground for the next two exercises after this. Ready? Lateral, power up. My hips are still forward when I do that. I'm not fully twisting my body. Up, sit it down. Up, bring that knee up. Sit into that left one. Really sit back, sit back as low as you can, and then power. Sit, power. The more power you generate, the harder it's gonna be on you. Good, okay, take, grab a breather. We're going back down to the ground for our final two. All right, we're gonna start with a plank to a crawl to a squat. So just think of those three movements. We're planking, we hop to crawling, we hop to a squat. Back out to plank, crawl, hop, or squat. Okay, planks, crawl, squat. Those are your three movements for the first exercise, second exercise. Back, sorry, we're staying in a plank position. We're gonna walk out, we're gonna walk in, we're gonna do a push up. Walk out, walk in, push up. If you need to come to your knees for the push up, great, only walk out as far as you feel comfortable. If it be super far, if it just be a baby little inch forward and back. Doesn't matter, but do what you can without getting your back to feel arched and losing tension in your torso. All right, let's go in five. Starting with our plank, crawl, squat. Say it in your head, so you're planking, you're crawling, wide, heels in the ground for a squat. Jump back out, plank, crawl, squat. Jump back out. When you jump out, don't let your hips dip. Crawl, knees are an inch from the ground. Squat, heels are in the ground. Plank, knees an inch from the ground. To squat, your heels are in the ground. The best you can, your back is flat. If that's too much of a challenge to jump in and you're on your toes here, don't go all the way to the squat because that's just gonna end up hurting your back and your knees. Oh, push up, walk out. Walk out, walk in. Give me a perfect push up. Opposite arm, walk out, walk in. Push up, switch arms, walk out, walk in. Push up, switch arms. So think about switching your arms in the walk out every time so your right arm isn't the one that's always going first. All right, your shoulders are gonna feel it in this round. So if you can't get all the way in, like I said, in that squat position, your mobility is a little more limited, don't do it. Just go bear crawl, plank, bear crawl, plank. Or if you have the mobility, jump wide, heels in the ground, back is flat, out. You know what your body can do properly because it'll feel not normal if you can't do it. All right, back into your walkout push-ups. If you need to come to your knees, by all means, come to your knees for your push-up. But try to maintain that plank position for the walkout, whether you walk out an inch, whether you walk out six inches, whatever's up to you, try to stay in control without letting your low back arch in that walkout. You're resisting that extension of your torso. All right, two down, two to go. Whew. Great, okay, we're gonna do our plank, crawl, squat. Ready? Wide. When you jump out to your plank, be mindful of having a soft landing, squeezing your glutes so your low back, glutes and quads, doesn't arch. Ooh, shoulders burn, burn. Good work. Oh man, awesome. Okay, push up, walk out. We're over halfway done. 
Get ready. Walk out as far as you feel comfortable. Push up, walk it out. Keeping your hips also square, if you can. There's a lot of components in this one exercise. It's almost like four exercises or something in one. Good, almost there. Okay, one more each exercise. Then we can just do it all over again. Get ready, get set, plank crawl squat. Plank crawl squat, plank crawl squat. You've got it. When you do that squat, make sure your shoulders are down your back. We're not just kind of hunching forward. Draw your navel in at that squat so you don't start feeling your back. All right, last, last plank walk out. You've got it. Ready? I'm sorry, push up walk out. Sometimes things just come out of my mouth. I don't even know what I'm saying. Get it, get it. Be intentional with your movement. Remember to switch arms in that walk out. It's not always the right one or the left one going first. All right. Good work, mentally prepared. We have our endurance round next. We have our 40 seconds on, I'm sorry, 45 seconds. I almost gypped you five seconds for each exercise. 10 seconds rest. Sorry, I know you can't see me. I'm looking at my timer. So we'll start with our fire feet, fast feet. Oh, silly little hair just hanging out over here. All right, so endurance round, get ready. We're gonna get set, we're gonna do this. I see some people about ready. Everybody's ready, fast feet, fire feet, 45 seconds. The goal during this round is to keep moving. Move those feet fast. Try to go the whole time. If you need to slow it down, you can slow it down, but don't stop. Don't stop. Come on. Close your eyes if you need. Fine if I close my eyes, like, like go forward and backwards. Find your rhythm. Ooh, just know this is gonna be tough. Come on, faster. You have 20 more seconds. You've done it for 20. You can do it for 20 more. Come on, faster. Make noise. Hear that noise. 10 more seconds. Eight seconds. We're squatting next. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, we're pop squatting. Remember we squat. We need to go down on the out. Stand up on the in. Squat. Remember quick feet in. Sit into your heels. We're just doing each exercise one more time. So know that this is the last time you have to do this. Remember, don't stop because you want to. There's no stopping because we want to. There's only stopping if you have to. 20 seconds. You know the difference. You know you can push. You've got this. 10, sit, in, out, in, out. We have five, four, three, two, one. All right, time to work the fun stuff. Sit down, toes up, knees together. I'll count it out. You can follow along. Up, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. If I can count up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist it. Big chest, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really twist, knees together, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist it and down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. Up, almost there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. One, three. That was hard to count. I do that at the same time. All right, playing position. Wide climbers. No counting here, so just go. Just the goal is to keep moving. I know for 45 seconds, it's gonna be hard to do those fast wide climbers, but push. <clears throat> Grip the floor with your fingers. 
Don't let you, don't take the pressure into your wrist. All five, all 10 fingers pads are pushing into the ground. Crunch it, if you need to slow it down, slow it down. But you have 17 left. Oh man, come on, we can do this together. Keep pushing, I'm feeling the burn. Keep those hips square with your shoulders. Don't let them sag, don't let them go up. Ooh, man. All right, up, right leg forward. Our split hops, right leg forward, let's we'll switch halfway. Right leg forward, hop it up, hop it up, hop it up. Halfway, we're gonna go right into our lateral, okay? When I tell you to go lateral, we're gonna go lateral. So we're not splitting right and left for the hop. We're just splitting the, the up. Ready, set, and go lateral. Lateral, elbow knee, lateral, elbow knee. When the timer goes off, we'll have a rest. We'll do the same thing on the left side. Remember, power up. Sit back, power up. Sit into that right heel. Five seconds. Great job, folks. Come on, keep pushing. Oh, man. Breathe into the nose. Feel it. Feel your diaphragm. Ready, left foot forward. I'll come face on this time. Tap it. Sit in your left foot all the way. Use power. Tap it if you can, or just bring it up and down. It's up to you. Half going forward, half going sideways. One more. Okay, go sideways. Sideways, cross it. We're almost there. We just have two more exercises after this. Come on, push. Sit low, power it up. Right back down low, power it up. Eight seconds. Keep your chest up. Three, two, one. Oh man. All right, down on the ground. Plank, crawl, squat. Let's go. Plank, crawl, squat. I'm not gonna call it out. I want you to either do the squat with the flat back heels in the ground, or just go plank to crawl. It's up to you if you can jump all the way in, maintaining strength in your torso so we don't feel it in your back. Spreading the floor so your knees aren't dumping in. Keep them out. It's a lot of hip mobility in this low squat. Come on. We've got this, we have 10 seconds. One more exercise. Keep pushing. Almost there. Woo. One more. Get into that plank position. Come on. Walk out, push ups. Knees if you need. Straight plank if you can the whole time through. Walk out with the right. Give me a push up. And then walk out with the left. Remember to alternate. Keep thinking about what you're doing. As soon as we start to drift off, we often don't move properly. So focus on what you're actually doing with your body right now, especially as you're getting tired. You're moving plank in your push-up. Don't let your hips sag. Your butt should not be up in the air. When you push up, I see that happens a lot, especially as people get tired. We've got it. Awesome, almost there. Three. Two, give me one more. Ooh. Awesome work. I was not planning that to get that winded. Hopefully you guys felt it like I did. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. I know I almost gave up on a few of those, but I know you were doing it with me, pushing me just as much as I'm trying to push you. So thanks for being here. Remember to, as always, my baby loves to be here. They try to just watch. She's gonna steal my microphone, but as always, like this video if you did, even with the baby, with the baby in here, it's great. She loves to take my microphone. So remember to subscribe to our channel so you get notified. <laughs> so you get notified when you we post more of these and check out our other videos. See how much she's grown in our earlier ones. Anyways.
check them out. We'll see you next time.